Uh, hey, this is uh, Q from VA. Q from VA. What's going and, on, man? Uh, I just had a... What's going on, brother? I had called you probably a couple weeks ago after the whole Alden thing happened, and I just wanted to call up real quick, man, because I'm concerned, man. Um, I can make, I'm going to make this as quick as possible, but I'm disgusted with how this election... And I'm almost thankful that this election has showed us the fundamental difference in the black left. And mm. we're seeing now that there are those who live it and there are those who just fake the funk. Mm. Now, if I can give you a quick example, what you spoke on yesterday, Corin Gaines, mm -hmm. just the bare facts. All we know is that police came in. This is from the police push. The police came in. They shot. She shot back. She was killed. Her son was, was, was hit. She had a legal license to carry that weapon in Baltimore. Yep. But the people who spend all day retweeting Asada Shakur and, you know, have the Malcolm X peeking through the window with the AK as their Abby, those are the first people to say she was a lunatic. She yep. put her son in danger. We don't know what, what happened. And to me, that's so frustrating because you exposing your, your, your you're exposing your entire facade that you put up. So everything that Asata says to you, everything that you read and everything that you're retweeting and putting out there on Twitter is for show. And just to see black women mm. shitting on Corin Gaines, mm -hmm. that mm. disgusted me to no end because Y'all want to preach this feminism stuff, but when it's time to stand behind you, your your fallen sister, she's a lunatic. She was unstable. I just mm. want you to speak on that real real quick because I just want to know if I'm going crazy or is are people really exposing themselves out, out here, man? Well, I'll tell you, uh, this is one of the things that most people don't want to hear. I do think that she was unstable, but I do agree with you that the label, the level of pushback coming from the black community uh, towards her. And it's like the Hotep community, man, and the, the Asada Shakur, you know, I, I'm like, y'all, you know, you know, you know less about this situation than the blue lives and all lives matter folks do. And you're doing their job for them. Right. They're the ones who are going to, you know, kind of uh, try to find everything they possibly can to make every black person killed by the police out to be some type of uh, villain. Now. I disagree with this this with Corinne on on one fundamental fact, the fact that her son was mm -hmm. still in there that that I mean, because just me. Right. Yeah. Me as a dad, my yeah. the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my kid is taking cover. Right. I don't care if it if I've decided that it's going down, my kid is going to be out of that house. I would say here, take my son. Mm -hmm. Y'all take him out of here and then we're going to get it on. That's where I disagree with the on. I also think that, that she was um, that she was suffering from something. Now, the, the, the question is, what is that something? What triggered that paranoia? Right. What triggered that fear? Mm. What triggered that? Was it was it was it something that happened to her and it was a mental situation or was it real? Was were the police officers after her and, and harassing her on a, on a regular basis? We don't know those answers. So I actually don't have much commentary in terms of her, except for the fact that it's a shame that she's dead. And two, it's a shame that her son had to be there and see it. And the fact that I wish that's that exactly she had, my point. Exactly. Yeah, that we could leave. And, and man, the fact is, we can leave it there. Are, yeah, go for it. People are jumping to one side and they want to go to their corners. There, there, there are those who will say, oh, no, she's a mother of the movement. She's a liberation. You know, and then there are those who, oh, she was in the wrong everywhere. The thing is, and the black community, what we have to understand is we have to stay on code. <laughs> when when white shooters or when mass murderers do something, they don't say anything. They say, "Well, I have to see all the facts." When Michael Brown got got murdered, well, we have to see all the facts. Yep. Meanwhile, the so-called black left is jumping out the window. She was in the wrong. Everything she did was wrong. Nope, nope, yep. wouldn't have did that. And it's just like, can we see yeah. the facts first? Yep. You know, only other thing. Thanks for the call, man. Only other thing I disagree with you on, or, or I want to make a distinction. That's not necessarily. Um, the black left 
Uh, there are some people who claim to be on the black left that do fall in that. So uh, let me let me let me start there. But the majority that I've seen that I've seen online that I've seen on all social media that people have made comments on the videos and, and whatnot. I mean, and, I mean, 90 percent of what we're talking about is the social media sphere. Right. Um, the majority of them have been like black nationalists, um, hoteps, uh, uh, you know, that that crowd, uh, which are uniquely different than the black left. They tend they they intersect with the black left in a couple of places but they're not they wouldn't identify themselves as progressives for sure for damn sure so thanks for the call man